learning objectives after studying this module students will be able to identify the resources of ms access as dbms know the basic concepts of a database system no accounting reality concepts entity relationship or er model transform er presentation of accounting reality into database develop database design for the computerized system using relational data model retrieving accounting data and information using query concept of database and database cycle what is a database database is a collection of tables that are released to each other and presented the data in an organized manner to ensure there will be consistency and quality of data basic concepts of database accounting system data processing cycle data processing performs collection of data arranging the data relating it to the other available data explain and compute the data in such a manner so that the data become useful for the decision makers steps of data processing cycle data capturing the first step in data processing cycle is to take the data from the transactions so that relating document can be prepared using that data like we prepare voucher from the transactions such documents keep the record of all the transactions systematically inputting after the data capturing the next step is to enter that data in the storage device we enter data in a data entry form which is designed using software and looks like a physical voucher data storage the data is stored in a blank data record this structure is used to store the different fields required in inputting of data like code of account name of account and the category type to which it belongs manipulation of data after storing the data is modified to create a transformed data so that final reports can be generated the transformed data can also be presented in the form of a report output of data with the help of the transformed data we can fill the data in the pre-signed formats of ledgers and trail balance to create a final report designing database for accounting we all know that for computer based accounting information system we require a data structure that helps to store the accounting data this designing process many components that are explained here reality reality means the real situation for which database is to be designed in the accounting we need to explain the accounting real situations completely er design this is like a blueprint that diagrammatically presents the accounting reality in this entity relationship model is used to explain the accounting reality relational data model it is a data model through which the entity relationship model data is converted into data tables that are related with each other in this many rules are specified so that the flow and authenticity of the data can be maintained normalization this is a process of refining the interrelated data tables to reduce duplication of data can be minimized refinement this is the final database that we receive after the normalization of database er model entity relationship model it is data model which is used in the application that involved the use of database it is used to explain the reality on the basis of designed database the components of the er model are entities attributes identifiers relationships 
we use various symbols to depict ER model which are known as elements of ER model. Elements of ER model There are many elements of ER model that are used to explain the reality in a database are as follows. Entity Entities are usually concepts used to describe the person, places, things or events which have relevance to the database. Some examples of entities are employee, student and lecturer. It is represented as a rectangular box. Weak entity A weak entity is an entity that is not unique and cannot be identified by its attributes alone. It is represented with a double-lined rectangular box. Relationship Relationship described as any relationship among two or more entity types. It represents an interaction among their respective entities. It is represented as a diamond box identifying the relationship. This is represented with a double-lined diamond-shaped box. Attribute Attribute is the component of a database management system such as table. The attributes describe the value in the row of a database. Attribute names are enclosed in oval and attached to their entity type by straight lines. Key Attributes A key attribute is the unique feature of the entity. For example, name and hire date are attributes of the entity employee. These attributes are in ovals and attached to their entity with straight lines. Multi-valued Attributes a multi-valued attributes can have more than one value at a time for an attribute. These attributes are in double ovals. Derived attributes. Derived attributes is an attribute whose value is calculated or derived from other attributes. These are represented by dashed line ovals. Elements of ER model. What are entities? The objects that have physical or conceptual existence or that have independence existence are known as entities. For example, car, school, university, account, voucher, company, job, etc. The accounting data is entered using these entities. What are attributes? Attributes are the features of the object, helps to describe the entities more clearly. For example, in case of a person, his height, weight, name, etc. are attributes. The attributes are the data that is stored in the database. Types of attributes. There are several types of attributes. Composite attributes. The attributes that can be further divided into subparts to define simple attributes, for example, name of a student, which can be further divided into first name, middle name, and last name. Simple attributes. The attributes that cannot be divided into subparts are called as simple attributes. For example, phone number of a person can have 10 digits. Single-valued attributes An attribute that holds a single value for an entity is known as single-valued attributes like height of a person. Multi-valued attributes The attribute that can have multiple values for an entity at a time are called as multi-valued attributes. For example, skills of a person is a multi-valued attribute. Stored attributes. When two or more attributes related to each other in a way that one become basic attribute and the other attribute is dependent on that attribute. For example, DOB is a stored attribute. Derived attribute. The attribute that is dependent on that stored or basic attribute for its value is called a derived attribute. The value of a derived attribute is calculated from stored attribute. For example, when we derive age of a person from DOB attribute, null values. When there is no value stored in an entity, 
that is known as null value. We use null values in three situations. 1. When a specific attribute does not apply to an entity. 2. When we don't know the value of an attribute, but that attribute exists. Entity type, entity set and relationships. What is an entity type? An entity type refers to the collection of entities that have common attributes. Each entity type in a database has a name and list of attributes. An entity type is described by a set of attributes called schema. What is an entity set? An entity set is a set of entities having the same entity type. Entity instance an entity instance is a single occurrence of an entity. The collection of entities of a specific sort of entity type is gathered into entity set, known as the extension of the entity type. Value set of attributes A value set is a collection of all possible values that can be assigned to a particular attribute. It is also called as domain. Key attributes of an entity. Key attribute can be defined as the attribute that is used to uniquely identify an entity in the entity sets. For example, in a student entity type, roll number is an attribute that contains unique values to which a student instance can be created. Sometimes, two or more attributes together may be used to specify the unique values. For example, the student entity type can have sections and roll number as composite keys. The entity types which cannot be defined uniquely by its attributes and does not have a unique attribute are called as weak entity. Relationships the interactions among various entity types are called as relationship. For example, an employee works at a department, a student enrolls in a course. Here, work at and enrolls are called relationships. Types of relationships Whenever entities from different entity types are associated with one another, they form a relationship. Each relationship instance of created by, short named as created by, associates one voucher entity with one employee entity. Degree The number of participating entities in a relationship defines the degree of a relationship. A relationship between two entities is called binary and a relationship between three. Weak entity type ER Presentation of Account Reality What is weak entity type? The entity types that cannot be defined in a unique way by its attributes are known as weak entity types. ER Presentation of Accounting Reality This is the pictorial presentation of accounting reality through ER model. We are taking five entities to explain the accounting reality. Vouchers, Accounts, Employees, Support Documents and Accounts Type In the vouchers with attributes voucher number, serial number, voucher date of creating, debit, credit account, amount, narration, authorized by, prepared by, are used for storing transaction data. Debit and amount are attributes for debit vouchers and credit and amount are for credit vouchers. Voucher number and serial number together makes the only key attribute of entity type vouchers. That is why it is to be specified as unique. In the second entity type accounts with attributes code, name and type is used for keeping and maintaining a record of all accounts. Both code and name can be considered to be the key attributes because of specified as unique. In the third entity type, 
employ with attribute employed the employed specified to be unique is the key attribute super id indicates the employee id of the controlling office in the fourth entity accounts type with attributes cat id and category is used to maintain records of various categories of accounts in the fifth entity type called support with attributes serial number and name is used to maintain records of all the support documents which are annexed to the accounting voucher database technology what is database technology database technology includes the software that is used to design a database management system it uses the certain concepts to design the database which are mentioned below reality data database information dbms reality an organization includes people facilities and other resources that work together to achieve certain goals reality consists of environment in which an organization operates the people with it deals influence and get influenced all this ends in real world transactions these transactions are then analyzed to find out data items a data item contains all the information that is required by the user data data represents facts about people places objects entities events or even concepts the name rdbms what is relational data model the relational data model uses the concept of relation in a table it creates a relation between the row and column in a table we will take an example of table accounts the table has rows and columns column of table is name and data entered in row key terms in rdbms row a row is also called a tuple it represents the data horizontally of a particular category columns a column header is called an attribute a column represents the data vertically and belongs to one row table a table is a collection of rows and columns a cell is the unit where a row and column meet the table is called a relation data types the data type is a classification of data that tells a translator program how the user wants to use the data in a table it can be text numeric date currency etc domain a domain is a set of unique values allowed for an attribute each domain has a data type associated with it such as number text currency date or time etc each domain must have a name that helps in interpreting its values relations a relation is a table created in a rdbms relations allow rdbms to split and store data in different tables and create a link between the data items for example the schema of accounts relation as shown as above ensures that every account has a code name and a type few relations display facts about entities while other relations might display facts about relationships values in tuples the value in a row cannot be separated into components this means that composite and multi valued attributes are not allowed as we know that composite attributes cannot be divided the multi values attributes are depicted by separate relations a special value called null is used to represent un 
RDBMS schemas, relational database and schemas. The term schema is an organization of data. How the database is constructed. A relational database schema is a set of relation schemas and a set of integrity constraints. Points to be considered regarding relational schemas. A. An attribute may appear in more than one relation with same or different name. B. If an attribute is appearing more than once in a relation, then it must be represented by different names. C. The integrity constraints that specifies that any changes made by authorized users in the database do not cause data inconsistency. Constraints and Database Schemas We can specify four constraints in relational databases. Domain The unique value that can be permitted for each attribute in a table. Key constraints and null values No two rows in a table can have the same values for all their data items. A set of attributes in a table whose values can be used to uniquely identify a tuple is called as super key. Sometimes a relation has a minimal set of attributes to identify a row called as candidate key. Entity Integrity Constraints It tells that primary key cannot be left null because it is used to identify individual row in a table. There must be proper value in the primary key field. Referential Integrity Constraints The referential integrity constraint is specified between two or more tables. These constraints are specified to maintain consistency among the rows. So, a row in one relation that refers to another relation must refer to an existing row in that other relation. Relational Database Schemas Operations Basically, there are two types of operations in RDBMS Updates Retrieval Updates There are three types of updates given below. 1. Insert This is used to add a new row in a relation. This operation is capable of violating all constraints. 2. Delete This operation helps to remove a row from a relation. The delete operation can violate only referential integrity rule. 3. Modify This operation helps to change the values in some attributes of existing rows. We have to make sure that modification should not be performed neither on primary key or foreign key. Retrieval operation. It helps to retrieve data from the table with the help of the query. On relational data model, does not cause violation any integrity constraints. Designing relational database schemas. We need to follow the certain rules to design the relational database. 1. Create a relation for every strong entity. For every entity that has a primary key, a separate table that includes all the simple attributes of that entity is created. We can choose either one of the key attributes of such an entity as the primary key or choose a set of simple attributes that uniquely identify this entity as the primary key. 2. Create a separate relation for each weak entity type. We know that each weak entity require an owner entity and a relationship through which that weak entity can be identified. A separate relation is created for each weak entity. 3. Identify entity types participating in binary 1 ish to n relationship type. Recognizing the first relation on n side of relationship and second on one side of such relationship. The primary key of second relation must be added in first relation as its foreign key. 4. 
Identify entity types participating in binary M ish to N relationship type. For such relationships, we need to build a new table to show such relationship. This new table should add the primary keys of the tables that show the participating entity types as foreign keys. Illustrating Database Structure Database management software helps to implement the data model by creating several tables, creating relationships among those tables and taking into consideration the constraints which are specified while designing of the database. A database must allow retrieval of data or information after the process of designing. For retrieval of data, a procedure called as query is required. For query, we need to use SQL statements. We must understand the SQL statements for computerized reporting. What is a report? A report is an organized collection of information that is to be extracted from the table on the data retrieval requests. For a practical understanding of these operations, consider the following models herein referred to as Model 1 and Model 2. Each model, which consists of a set of relations, and the integrity constraints that constitutes the database design for accounting. Model 1 Schema Diagram for the Accounting System Relational Database Schema Model 2 Schema Diagram for the Accounting System Relational Database Schema Interacting with Databases One of the major reasons use of database for the commercial use is the SQL language support. This is because SQL is become the standard language used for relational databases. Advantages of SQL 1. SQL can join two or more objects and display it as one object. 2. It can retrieve large amount of data from a database. 3. It is easy to use and retrieve data more efficiently and quickly. 4. We can view the data without storing it. Introduction and Queries of SQL What is SQL? SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is the language which is used to communicate with the database. It was originally called as SQL, Structured English Query Language, designed and implemented at IBM Research as an interface for experimental relational database system called System R. According to ANSI or American National Standards Institute, it is the standard language for RDBMS. SQL statements are used to perform tasks such as update data on a database or retrieve data from a database. Features of SQL language Data definition Query and update Capability to define user-oriented views of database Specify security and authorization. Define integrity constraints. Basic queries in SQL. Data query language or DQL is a part of SQL is widely used to handle the basic queries of the database. Basic queries used in SQL. Select. This clause is used to return a set of records from one or more tables. From. This clause specifies the source from where the data is retrieved for answering the query. It can be a data table, an existing query or both. Where. This clause specifies the conditions which are used to extract the information 
from the database. SQL queries. Let us take the example of model 1 and model 2 to create following queries. Query to retrieve all columns of data records from a table subject to a condition. To project all the attribute values of selected rows, an asterisk need to be specified. This asterisk stand for all the attributes. 1. It helps to retrieve all columns voucher records whose voucher is being authorized by an employee whose employee ID is equal to A001. Query to retrieve selected columns of data records from a table subject to condition. 1. To retrieve vouchers with VN number, V date, authorized by columns, wherein the vouchers are dated 12th April 2005. 2. To retrieve vouchers with V number, V date, authorized by columns, which are dated 12th April 2005, the columns of records retrieved by the query are to be renamed as voucher, date and employee. Unspecified WHERE clause Absence of WHERE clause in SELECT statement implies that the rows from a relation are to be selected without applying any condition. This in turn means that all rows of a relation specified is from clause QUALIFY for being selected for the result of query. Let us take the following query with reference to model 1. 1. Find the list of accounts which have been debited. 2. Find out the list of accounts which have been credited. 3. Find out the list of accounts which have been debited as well as credited. Find out the list of accounts which have been debited but not credited. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. The database is a shared collection of interrelated data tables or structures which are designed to most varied information needs of all organization. DBMS is a collection of programs that enable users to create and maintain a database. The data model is a collection of concepts used to describe the structure of a database. The description of a database is called its scheme. The major elements of ER model are entities, attributes, identities, and relationship that are used to express reality for which a database is to be designed. Relation Data Model RDM represents the database at the collection of tables comprising different volumes. It consists of rows and columns. The table name and column name are used to help in interpreting the meaning of volumes of each row.